Hey Leo, what's going on? Hope you're doing very, very well. Um, my name is Diane, for those of you that don't know me, and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot. And we're gonna do um, a general reading for June, but you know, it's timeless, so whenever you happen to find this is when you are meant to see it. Um, you're very, very welcome here, Leo. Thank you for being here with me. I appreciate it very much. And, um, you know, if you feel like liking and subscribing for me at any point during the video, I would appreciate that very much as well. I just saw 111 on my little timer thing. So, I don't know, that's always a good sign. <laughs> maybe you're, you're going to start seeing 111 a lot, or maybe even seeing it a lot. Okay, let's see what's going on here. What's going on for Leo? Whoa, <laughs> that's what you want. The Eight of Wands, success and growth. So that uh, obviously can talk about success and growth. The Eight of Wands also talks about communication. Fast movement forward. Let's see, <clears throat> excuse me. Woo, look, you have the Two of Swords refusing to see. And you have the crown chakra here. So it could be that there's some messages um, that Spirit's been trying to give you that you're not listening to or you're not um, receiving. Let's see. What's going on for Leo? Okay, you're trying to control a situation here. You have the eight... Um, what am I talking about? The... <laughs> <laughs> the strength card, which in this deck is control. So this talks about trying to micromanage something. I wonder if it's something about being seen or being in some kind of leadership role because you have the solar plexus chakra, which is often what that card talks about because that's what the solar plexus chakra is all about. It's often known as the leadership chakra. Maybe you don't want to do it. And you have the crown chakra here as well. You're, you're very switched on intuitively. Like you have, um, like you're a very open channel for spirit to come through. You receive a lot of messages, but the thing is you don't trust it. Um, you know, you may have suffered from gaslighting or like very dominant personalities or uh, you suffer from lack of confidence. So, you know, maybe it, you struggle to like, trust in your own decisions or trust in uh, what, you know, these messages that you're receiving. Maybe you don't believe that you're psychic. You're about to blossom though. You have the judgment card and the death card. Okay. I just saw the solar plexus chakra again. You're getting in your head. <laughs> okay. You're all in your head. Right, clarify these cards for Leo. Journey. Ooh, you might physically be going somewhere at some point. You have the Eight of Wands, which is about movement forward. It can also be about travel. And you have Journey, which obviously <laughs> she's got her little bags packed and she's, you know, she's like, bye, <laughs> peace out. Yeah. Look at that. So you have clarifying the two of swords. You have the, the crown chakra again, Archangel Uriel. So this is, you're getting so many messages. Like you're very psychic, Leo. You're very psychic. You're getting messages from the universe or downloads from spirit, whatever you want to call it all the time. But you're not seeing them either because A, you don't want to. Maybe you're a little angry with spirit. B, you have a very busy schedule and you don't have time. Or the popular option, three, you know you need to meditate, but you don't feel like doing it. <laughs> um, okay, what else for Leo? <clears throat> the garden and the gate. I always take this to be the judgment card because that's how I always see the end of the deck. So the judge, you have the judgment card, then the world. So if you imagine... The world is like closing down a cycle. So I always imagine the world as like standing at the entrance to a new home. 
And then the judgment card would be standing at the gate, which is literally what she's doing here. So it's like you're standing on the precipice of something like a new, I don't know, something new, new life, new cycle. But you're like, no, <laughs> I don't, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it because I don't know what's going to happen. You have the solar plexus chakra with, is that supposed to go there? I think you're trying to control things. I want to put this here. Like you're, you're trying to control how things are going down. Like you want a strategy, you want an action plan, but you know, when you work for spirit, it doesn't always go down that way. Sometimes you just have to take a bit of a leap of faith. There's so much overthinking. Tell me about this solar plexus chakra. Ooh, oh my goodness. You have the fifth chakra with Archangel Gabriel, which is your throat chakra, which is obviously about speaking, being heard, standing up for yourself, taking up space, being seen when you have the solar plexus chakra. You're meant to be some kind of leader. You're meant to be heard. And you don't want to do it. <laughs> um, okay, clarify the crown chakra or chakra. Some people say. Clarify the crown chakra. Yeah, spirit. Oh, sorry, that's my computer making noises. You have rest and rejuvenation. You're getting, a, I think you might be getting a lot of messages about resting, but you need to meditate. Well, you don't need to, but spirit would, let me rephrase that. Spirit would very much appreciate it if you would meditate um, and make time for these messages to come through. You're walking away from something and there's the end of a cycle. I think you have to walk away from something or you're being strongly guided that you should walk away from something, but you're like, I don't wanna. <laughs> um, or there's a reluctance to for some reason. Yeah, look, the world with walking away. So you're closing down some kind of cycle here and you're walking away from something. You have anxiety about it though. You get in the fear. <laughs> That's common enough. Lily Allen wrote a whole song about it. Okay, let's see if we can see what's going on a little bit here for you. this oh, okay the three of cups so you're meant to talk to people basically the eight of wands the three of cups the three of cups represents people things that you say may be very healing for other people things that you write um you may be meant to talk to groups you may be meant to work with groups that's your new journey that's where you're supposed to go you know you're gonna make friends as well wherever, like wherever this takes you, you're going to make friends, like you're going to find your soul tribe while you're doing this. What are these messages that you want uh, Leo to get? What's this? Why is the crown chakra here? Seriously, your crown chakra is so open. Um, the thing is as well, if you're a channel, which you obviously are, if you found this reading, because you're constantly downloading things, it can actually be very overwhelming if you don't uh, balance your energy by like meditation or yoga, even deep breathing. I'm not ready for that. It's an idea. Tell me about this uh, crown chakra. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait. Kill your jets, spirit. Um, tell me about this crown chakra. 
different world. So you know that a cycle is ending. You know that something is ending and it's, it's time to go. You might be moving. Because I see the world, which indicates travel. And then you have journey of the eight of wands. It's either you're going like traveling or you're moving or you're working online. You're very good at speaking or writing, whatever this is, like with this, um, um, uh, the uh, throat chakra here, like you're very good at it. I feel like maybe you got a lot going on though. Like there's a need to kind of balance your energy because maybe you have a tendency, maybe you have a tendency to just take on too much stuff or something like that. You know what it is? That's the energy you're about to step into. You're about to become very busy. When you really start to believe in these intuitive, like, honestly, it's not even intuitive. It's like downloads and these like downloads that you're getting, you're going to be unstoppable because you're getting these downloads, but that doesn't mean you have to do spiritual work. I mean, for a lot of you, you probably will, right? But that could also be, you know, say you're a counselor, you may just always know what to say to people because you're channeling the information or say you work in design, um, you're, you're gonna be like the best designer because you're channeling things from spirit. Or say you're a teacher, you know, it's like you just always know the right way to say things to people because you're channeling it. See the candle going crazy? <laughs> um, so yeah, there's, there's a balancing of the energy. The energy has to be balanced so that you can step into this like powerhouse energy. I see you balancing many things and possibly leading a team. Um, or, you know, speaking to a large number of people, something like this. Yeah, look, the Ace of Pentacles, I didn't even see that. You have some kind of new, ooh, you have some kind of new opportunity. So this could be that you're leaving a job or you're leaving a profession behind. There's, if you haven't had this idea yet, there's some kind of idea that's coming. Uh, with this Ace of Pentacles that you're going to channel. You may channel one specific idea for making money. You could channel multiple ideas. Like I was saying, if you, if you do something creative, the more that you meditate, the more that you're going to channel all of this stuff. You already get so many ideas as well. Like it could be that you're kind of overwhelmed by the amount of ideas. But basically what they're saying is you don't need to be worried about stepping into this energy because you will never run dry of ideas or channeled information. The only problem that you're going to have is managing your time, really, <laughs> and managing the amount of people that want your energy. Um, so you're going to know if you've had this idea yet or not, but for some of you, you've yet to have this. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. Some of you could literally be about gardening because he's got his hands dirty there. Like you could be teaching gardening online. I see the world with the Ace of Pentacles. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. The Four of Wands. Ooh la la. Ooh, ooh, you're moving house. Some of you are moving house. Okay. Only if you want to. But the Four of Wands talks about, ooh, you could definitely be moving house. Uh, the Four of Wands talks about something very stable, moving into an, an, an energy of like stable housing, stable finances, a celebration, a huge milestone. Uh, and you have the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck, so it looks very much like communication is involved. Tell me about this Eight of Wands. Uh, sorry, the Eight of Pentacles. What was I saying? The Tower. 
Ooh, something happens rather quickly. You're about to be very happy, 10 of cups. Some kind of happiness comes in very, very fast. You know, there's a connection here to you. I'm sorry to nag you, but it's what's coming through. There's a connection between you clearing your mind and happiness coming in. It's almost like you grounding your energy and meditating clears the way for all, all the happy to come in. And you have the Eight of Wands here. I love that version of the Eight of Wands. So some kind of movement forward is going to make you very happy. Tell me about this Eight of Wands. The Lovers. The Empress. I'm going to reshuffle that because I know it came up in that order in a different reading. I just want to make sure it's shuffled. Queen of Cups. The Devil. The Page of Cups. And the Ace of Wands. Something very passionate is about to kick off. Fast. Something starts to move very fast. Ten of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. You're going to have to make a choice. I feel there's someone here. There's a King of Pentacles energy. Uh, so that could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that you're kind of suspicious of, um, that may have been kind of toxic, or you guys had like a very toxic or very passionate, like fiery relationship in the past. Um, they could definitely be a Taurus because I just saw the Hierophant. You have to make a decision. So I guess someone from your past is going to try and come back in. That took me by surprise a little bit. Tell me about this Page of Cups. I want to go into this deck because I know what I have in here. Hold on. Let me go into this one. Just let me dither. <laughs> For a while here, Leo. If you're feeling stuck, don't worry about that because it's about to end. There's movement forward that's going to make you really happy. That's what your whole reading is about, movement forward. It couldn't happen until a specific time for some reason, but everything's just fallen into place. Tell me about this page of cups. Ooh. Okay, so this King of Pent, we're not done here. <laughs> this King of Pentacles, whoever they were, uh, there was like, mm, they're not a great energy you have, or they weren't in the past. Uh, like manipulative, controlling, you know, mind games. Tell me about this Page of Cups. The Two of Wands. Tower. Someone from the past, see how they surprised even the reading? <laughs> um, like they just came in out of nowhere. Someone from the past is going to return out of nowhere and they're going to try to sleep with you. You're going to just have to decide what you want to do here. Looks like you're going to take, looks like you're going to move forward. Tell me about this Page of Cups. Yeah, this is going to end. Death card. It looks like for most of you, you're just going to decide like, no, I'm jumping ship. See ya. <laughs> 
see a dude or dudette because you're in this Queen of Cups energy where um, uh, you know you're really in a good place. You're very calm. You're you've you, you've you hear me stuttering. You may have worked on your throat chakra a lot because uh, you you have good boundaries now. You're just like no, this person took too long to make an offer. Basically, you're moving on. You're done. You are done. You're going to get an apology though with the justice card. Uh, and it might throw you for a minute, you know, like when they come in, you might be like, oh my God, do I, do I want this? No, no, I don't. <laughs> Tell me about this page of cups. It's all over the place. Right. The eight of wands. Tell me about this page of cups. The lovers. There's that king of pentacles again. Okay, they want to have a very honest conversation with you, this past person. Tell me about this page of cups. They like, I feel like this page of cups is someone new. And there's, it's like they're trying to stop you from getting to them. Stop it. Tell me about this page of cups. Temperance. Okay. So there could be someone new because you're having to make some kind of decision, but I feel like this page of cups is about a past person trying to apologize. Like they want to make amends. They're going to say sorry. And I think with this Ten of Pentacles here, they're going to, they want to offer you like commitment. You know, they want to offer you something serious, but I feel like maybe you have another person because the King of Wands has just showed up here. Um, King of Wands with the chariot over here watching. Um, Two of Swords. All right, tell me. Your cards are acting very funny. So this may really throw you. The fact that this past person comes back in. Because it that's what the cycle is that you're closing down. I think they need to come back in so you can close the cycle. Jeez. Stop it. <laughs> Yeah, they want to work on this with you, but I just, you know, there's a, there's this broken heart here. I just think, I think it's too late. And you have the death card here. Oh, that's why this King of Wands hasn't shown up in your life or made a move yet. Um, you may not have met this person yet, or they may be kind of around, but they're, they're like watching to see what's going to happen with you and this past person. But I see it ending because it's just like, you know what? Because you might even try, maybe you even try to make it work with them. But ultimately, I think they broke your heart and there's just, it's too much. You know, you're just like, listen, I just, I can't. They could be younger. They could definitely be a younger earth sign and you could be older. But you're really in this like Queen of Cups energy where, um, you know, you've really worked on yourself and you, your boundaries are excellent. They really, they're going to come for you though hard, this past person. You should know that because there's a lot of pentacles here and they have quite an insistent energy. Like their energy is quite erratic, but quite insistent. So you may have to really have some strong boundaries here and just be like, you know what? No, you know, like I forgive you, uh, you know, I release you, but it's just, it's not going to work. Like too much has happened. Um, okay. 
I'm going to end the reading there and I'm going to go into the extended reading because this there's still more to unpack because basically your past person took up a lot of time here. But I want to say, yeah, look, there you are. This is your true match. This new person that hasn't come in yet, this king of wands, because you're the queen or vice versa, you know. Um... This is your true match, but they like, they can't come in or they don't want to come in until like, you know, you're done. They like, they want to see you walk away from this past person because that's the cycle that needs to be closed down. It's almost like a test. I gotta be honest. It's almost like spirit is testing you. You know, they're like, well, did you learn? <laughs> did you learn? Because this past person was, you know, they didn't treat you very well. Um, because in the end, I think you've kind of been on your own for a while here with the Queen of Wands or like certainly you're, you're very confident now. You've done your, you know, you've learned your boundaries. You're very confident you're in this Queen of Wands or King energy where you're like, you know what? I'm actually okay. Like, uh, I'm not. Uh, yeah, no, <laughs> no. Because all your energy is actually facing away from this person towards this new person and honestly the new person doesn't even really seem to have done that much <laughs> uh the, they're just kind of sitting here but you have the chariot between you i feel like the new person is very very focused on you but it's like nothing i, I just feel like you should be prepared because i feel like the past person is going to throw a lot of energy at you Okay, so listen, I'm going to go into the extended reading and we're going to talk about this new person. We'll get some characteristics and messages from them and anything Spirit wants you to know about the connection and anything we can, you know, pull out about them. And also we're going to pull some cards about this new business thing that you're doing because I think it's both. You have... I think a couple of things are, I, I think you should rest <laughs> because I think things are all going to kick off like one after the other. It's like once you step into this powerhouse role, it just kind of, it's like bam, bam, bam. So I wonder if the, the money or the opportunity comes in first, then this past person comes in and then you meet this new person. So we're going to talk about that in the extended. So it is for channel members only. So if you want to watch it, um, you can join as a channel member below. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. I'd appreciate it a lot. And as always, Leo, I wish you many blessings. Love and light. Take care.